This tutorial comes from an assignment that I like to do with my students. In the assignment, I show you how to recover from a lost Windows password. How many times have you been locked out of a system or someone's asked you, can you help me? I've forgotten my password. I can't get into my system. Well, this is one option for how you can do it. In the tutorial, I take the students to this website, Herons Boot CD. It's at heronsbootcd.org. And if you go to the download page and you scroll down, you can download the bootable image file right here. Now Heron's Boot CD is a wonderful tool. If you click on screenshots, you can get an idea of some of the tools that are built into it. It's chock full of DOS programs, password and registry tools, recovery tools, hard disk tools, backup tools, all kinds of things here. And you can see here, it's got cleaners, it's got um, optimizers, editors, um, partition tools, all kinds of things, uh, password cracking tools. And so in this video, what I'm gonna do is show you how to uh, recover from a lost password. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna download, click the download link, scroll down, and download the file. When you unzip it, you should have an ISO file. So I did that, and now you can see in this folder, there it is, Heron's Boot CD 15.2.ISO. So I'll use this bootable image, which I could burn to a disk to make into a bootable CD, but I'm just gonna use this .ISO file to demonstrate this lab. Now for the system that I'm going to recover, I'm gonna recover this Windows 7 system that I'm running in a VMware virtual machine. This makes it easy for me to do the video tutorial. So I've got this Windows 7 virtual machine, and what I'm going to do is, is I'll go into my control panel, and I'll go to user accounts, and you could do this on your actual computer too. I'm gonna to create a test user account, so I'll click on manage another account, and I'll click create a new account, and I'll name this account test user and I'll make it an administrative account and I'll create the account. There it is, click on it. I'll change the password on the account. Now I'm gonna make the password something that I can't remember. So what I'll do is, is I'll open up Notepad and I'll type in a bunch of numbers and letters and I'll just copy it and then I'll paste it in here and then I'll paste it in here and then I'll change the password. As you can see, I would have no way of remembering this password. What I can do is log in one time as that user account. Let's see here, just to make sure that the desktop is created. So I'll click on test user and I'll log in with it at least one time. As you can see on first login, it creates my desktop. So as you can see, I have this test user account that I can test here in boot CD on. I made this complex password, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete it. So now I truly do not have the password for this test user account. It's an administrative account that I created to test out the password recovery procedure. Now I still have my administrative student account as a fail safe. In case it doesn't work, I'll be able to get back into my system with my main user account. So now what I'll do is I'll shut down my VMware virtual machine. I'll launch VMware player again. And this time, before I boot up this Windows 7 virtual machine, I'll edit my virtual machine settings. And I'll go to the CD DVD drive. And instead of using the physical CD DVD drive on my laptop, I'll have the CD DVD drive, which is this virtual CD DVD drive, connect to the ISO image file and boot from Heron's Boot CD. So I'll go into my E drive, I'll go to my ISO images, select Heron's Boot CD, and so now when I boot up the system, it should boot to the Heron's Boot CD.ISO file. I'll click OK, and now I'm ready to boot up. Now the goal is to boot to Heron's Boot CD and not boot to Windows. If you're not doing this in a virtual machine and you're doing it on your physical computer, and you have a Heron's Boot CD that you've burned to disk as a bootable image, a bootable disk, then you'd put your disk into the CD DVD tray 
And the goal is, once again, to boot to Heron's Boot CD. So you might need to change the boot order or go into your BIOS, into your setup mode, and change your boot order so that you boot from the CD. So I'll press Play Virtual Machine. And now I'm looking for how can I get to setup mode, or I'm hoping to boot directly into Heron's Boot CD. And as you can see, the Virtual Machine has booted directly into Heron's Boot CD. If it doesn't boot into Heron's Boot CD, you'll need to go into setup mode, press F2 to get into setup mode and change your boot order, or press the key to go directly to the boot order and set the boot order to boot first from your CD DVD drive. If you want to, you can also burn Heron's Boot CD to a USB thumb drive and create a bootable thumb drive. So now I'm in Heron's Boot CD and it's time to clear the Windows password that we've forgotten. Now Heron's Boot CD is a menu-driven operating system. So what I'll do is, is I need to click into the virtual machine. So I've clicked into the virtual machine and now I can use the keyboard and I'll arrow down to offline NT2000 XP Vista 7 password changer and I'll press enter. It says press enter to boot. So I'll press enter again and now it's booting a Linux image and we should get this password changing program come up. All right, this is what it looks like. So this is pretty fun. I love the part where it says, don't panic. Step one, select the disk where the Windows installation is. As you can see, Heron's Boot CD has found the hard drive. It's SDA, and you can see that it's 42.9 gigabytes, and there's two candidate Windows partitions that were found, SDA1, which is a 100 megabyte boot partition, and SDA2, which is 40,858 megabytes. And you're not gonna find the Windows partition, the Windows system partition on a 100 megabyte boot partition. So the candidate Windows partition is going to be, in this case, number two. Now, if you have two hard drives in your system, you'll see an SDA, let's say one and two, and then you might see a SDB, if you had three hard drives, you might see SDC. So uh, in this case, there's only one hard drive. And I can tell by looking at the two uh, candidates that the Windows partition is number two. So I'll key in two and press enter. Notice on the screen where it says success. Step two, select the path and the registry files. You can see that it says debug path four times. In the debug path four lines below step two, it says Windows found as Windows, System32 found as System32, uh, config and found correct case to be Windows, System32, config. In other words, it found the path to the registry files in the Windows folder, System32 folder, config folder. And it's already loaded that path into the command prompt. Notice in between the brackets, where it shows windows forward slash system32 forward slash config. All I need to do now is press enter and that path will automatically be entered. So I'll do that. So now it asks me select which part of the registry to load using predefined choices. One, password reset, SAM system security. Two, recovery console or Q for quit. Well, we're trying to do a password reset and so I'll either put in the number one or I can just hit enter since one is already selected in between the two brackets. So I'll just hit enter. And you can see that it's selected the SAM system security. It's copying the SAM system security to the temp file. And now at the bottom of the screen, notice where it says loaded hives, SAM system and security. We're gonna be going into the SAM hive. So the choices here are one, edit user data and passwords, uh, nine, a registry editor or Q for quit. We'll choose one, which is already loaded. So I can, this time I'll type in one and press enter. And now at the bottom of the screen, notice where it says edit user info and passwords. You can see that it found the administrator, it found guest, it found student, and it found test user. It looks like it found all of the uh, default user accounts and the ones that we've created ourselves. So it says simply enter the username to change. Now loaded in between the brackets is administrator. 
but the account that we want to clear the password for is test user. So test user is the user account that we don't know the password to. We're pretending like we've been locked out of the computer. And in fact, I don't know the, the password for the test user account. So I'll type in test user and press enter. And now I'm given more choices. Now towards the bottom of the screen, you can see some interesting things. You can see that I'm presented with some choices. One, clear or blank the user password. Two, edit or set a new user password. Notice it says careful with this on XP or Vista. Um, I can choose three, which would promote the user to an administrator. That could be useful in some situations. And four, unlock and enable user account. Seems unlocked already. And then the last option is Q for quit. You'll have the best luck if you just simply choose one, which is to clear the user password. So I'll press one and hit enter and password cleared. Notice at the bottom, near the bottom, it says password clear. So now I can quit or I could clear another user account's password. I'm going to, to quit, I'll put in an exclamation point. Notice towards the bottom, it says select exclamation point dash quit. So I'll put in an exclamation point and hit enter. And now I'm back to a previous screen, which says edit user data passwords, registry editor, or quit. This time we're going to quit. So I'll put in Q and hit enter. And here is the screen that a lot of students seem to have uh, trouble with. Step four, writing back changes. About to write files, do it. And in between the brackets is an N. So the N is for uh, no. So what we wanna do is we do wanna write the changes. So we're gonna, I'm going to put in Y and hit enter. It says edit complete. So I basically edited the registry. So now what I can do is I can try it again if it failed or I could select a new run. I'm gonna put in Q for quit. So now I put in Q for quit, um, end of scripts, returning to the shell. It tells me near the bottom to press Control Alt Delete to reboot and remove the disk first. So what I'll do is I'll press Control Alt on my keyboard. I'll go into my, my virtual CD drive here, go into the settings and I'll turn off boot to ISO image file. So I'll change that back to the physical drive. So it's no longer going to boot my virtual CD DVD drive to the ISO image. And now I'll click back into the virtual machine and click Control Alt Delete to reboot the system. So now after hitting Control Alt Delete, my Windows 7 virtual machine is rebooting. Okay, Windows 7 rebooted. Now, if Heron's Boot CD was successful and I successfully cleared the test user account's password, if I click on this test user account, it should take me directly to the desktop and bypass asking me for a password because the test user account won't have a password anymore. And that's what we tried to do. We tried to clear the test user account password. So I'll click on it and we'll see what happens. It looks like it's taking me directly to the desktop. Yep, no password was requested, and I successfully cleared the password using Heron's Boot CD. So this could be very useful in a situation where you've lost access to a computer from a forgotten password.